Hi there, I'd like to take this opportunity to show you a few things about buttons within ClickView. Um, first thing to say is when I say buttons, I don't necessarily mean these big um, lozenge type things here, the, the sort of default buttons in ClickView, but they actually take up quite a lot of space on the screen. So something you may want to do is um, pair those down. Uh, people are used to web links, so why not have a simple piece of text which is clickable and can carry out the action that you want. Um, something I'll have on just about any document I create is a hidden tab for some extra information and um, link to that with actions on, on a text box here. So if we click here, show becomes hide, get an extra tab, um, might have the system fields shown here. We can hide that again, it goes back to the main tab. So rather than using glossy lozenge plain text, also, um, using buttons to flip between different views using variables at the back end. So we've got this kind of dashboard view here. Um, we can use a button to go to a different view and onto another one again. So again, simple text boxes. We've got some conditional colouring on there. And then the objects on the tabs um, just have conditional shows. And the default um, ways of doing this in ClickView, sort of auto minimize and also using containers, just don't allow you to have this sort of multiple object view as you go between the different views. Also, it allows you to be a bit more um, precise in how you lay these things out. Um, something I've got here is some nice big dials, which um, if you've seen any of my previous videos or blog posts, you know I'm not a fan of, but. Um, they make an appearance here because if you are using dials you should at least make them clickable so here if we click on this one it sets a variable to Sydney and we can see the details there or here to London so also sort of keeping with the buttons we can um, have another link that comes up which fires off to a website so just thinking of different ways that you can um, use buttons different actions you can perform beyond just doing a clear all selections or doing a navigation like move to the next sheet. So um, be innovative with your use of buttons. So again, like I say, think outside the box of what you can do. So we've got some colour buttons here so we can flip the colours of various things and that could be all audio captions on the dashboard and the buttons don't even need legends, they're just um, you can tell what they're going to do by the colour of the button and they can be nice and small and tucked out the way. Here we just showing that um, images can also have actions attached. Uh, it doesn't have to be a button or a straight text box. It could be an image. Um, similarly, uh, arrow objects, they don't get used a lot in click view, but if you use them, again, you can make them clickable. So all these different ways of um, making your click view documents a, a bit more dynamic and um, just making them feel more like an application than just the report. This is um, going to be made available as a shared click view on Click Community and um, there's a link right in here as well to, to view the other shared click views that um, I've uploaded. So I hope you find something among those that uh, is of use. Many thanks for taking the time to watch. Um, hope to see you in another video soon.